hello guys quickly i want to show you how to give this image a shine now we are done with the whole retouching process if you're really interested in the whole retouching process please for this particular video i did not do explanation i just recorded it as i'm doing it just to avoid the whole how did you do this online that's why i just did my i just recorded it so please I will not be able to start answering questions in case you want to ask. So if you're watching, if you want to go back and watch the previous video on how I got here, please do well to understand that I purposely did not record it that way. So there are two ways to make this image shine. So we'll do the first method, which is coming to selective color and then selecting white. Now what this white would actually do is to select these areas that are looking white is to just go hit those areas because it's white. You all know how selective color work. So I'll just push this to the end. Let me just see the before and after. This is the before, this is the after. This is the before, this is the after. Then we'll also push this a little. Then I might just duplicate it. When I do the duplicating, I might just group it. Then this is my skin, the selection of my skin. So let me delete this and uh, let me just place it here. Sorry. Let me place it here. So by doing that, you see that your image has this shine. Now, for the whole, the whole shine thing, if you're not really interested, you start trying to blow it in. If you don't want that um, serious, unfaded shine, you have to start blowing it in. This is one method. You can also reduce your opacity, which would also work. Here is your before, here is your after. But for images like this, there is a particular method I use that have always worked for me, which is me deleting this then i want to merge everything but permit me just give me a minute there's something i didn't do in my previous video that i need to do now so i'll just come to this particular layout here that is where my skin tone is like i said if you are interested in the video go back and watch the previous video so if you notice that i'm painting i'm still covering some areas those are areas that have been affected by the skin tone already so I'm just gonna do this so if you're watching this video you can go back and watch the previous video because on that previous video I showed how to mask easily yeah so that you won't have a lot of problem now the reason why I'm doing this is because I noticed that the dress was changing color and I don't want that so I feel like this election is enough now it's showing black compared to the way it was before so i will just select this and put on the curve also so let's go back to the way i would normally want to work on an image like this let's merge everything together then duplicate it in to two or we can just start with one then we'll come here we we'll change it to screen then we'll come to the blend if i feel like this is the this is the amazing one so see, if you bring it from this side, you're taking it from the bright side first. So we are going to remove it from the shadows and keep it on the highlight only. So around here is fine for me. I'll just split it open and take this to the end. Then for this one, I can just bring it back a little because I feel around here is fine. Then I'll say, okay. Then I'm going to duplicate it. When I duplicate it, I'm going to change this to multiply. Then I'll go back in there. If you notice with the multiply, it has covered up all those areas that were shining already. That should show you what the whole thing is all about. So I'll just bring this back in. Then I'll push this inside. So this time I'll be affecting just my shadow areas. So around here is enough for me. Then I'll split it open. 
So this is supposed to help me create a better depth on my image. So I'm going to say OK. Now, this point, I'll group it. Once you group it, here is your before, here is your after. Now it's making the image has more, have more life compared to the way it was. So I'm going to add a mask here. Then I'm going to come to image, then apply image. Yes. Yes, they are before and after. So the, the whole process, the difference is not much. So we just say, OK. So that old shouty thing has reduced. Now you just see few shiny parts of her skin. If you want to do more on this, you can now merge everything together. Then open it in camera raw. Now we want these areas, these areas to shine more. So we just come to our basic, increase the highlight. Yes, increase the highlight, then increase the white. Then we say OK. After doing that, we group everything together again. Then we bring in our mask again. Now we have a shiny looking image. So to reduce the whole shine so it won't be looking as fake as it can be, we just reduce our opacity. So we have this look, but not as flat as it was before we got to this point. So if you're that kind of person that loves um, your shine in a different way, you can just keep it, then group it again, then create a mask, a, a black mask. So you can just paint it into the areas you want. So me, I'll paint it into this area. I really need it around here also. Uh, I need it here. I need it here. I need it around here. I need it here. So if I'm doing this, I'm actually just doing it for the highlights. But if I don't want to just do it for the highlight, I'll keep it the way it was so that I will affect my shadow and my highlight. So I can now bring this down. Sorry. Can now bring this down. Let me say around 60. Let's check our before and our after. Now it's looking way, way better. And our highlight is looking way stronger. And our image is shining better. So let's try to fix this area also. Let's try to add shine to a few other areas. We're just increasing our curve then inverting it then just add this add this add this add this so with this we just go back to our mask then fade it in then reduce the opacity. You can also use the soft light, but I'm just going to leave it like that and just reduce it. So we have a little bit of shine there. So we are going to reduce it very well. So we have this. And let me just clean a little off this area. Clean a little off this area also. So now, instead of your image to be looking all flat, you have something like this. Let's do a little bit of low curve, then invert it. Now, with this, we are going to paint. We are going to paint it in gradually. So I'm going to use my white brush, white brush, and paint it in. So when you do things like this, you intend to, you find out that you're giving the image a better form than just retouching your image. Now, already the image is looking shiny compared to the way it was. 
This is how the image was. Now this is how the image is before and after. So if you want to see how I got to this point, you can do well to check out my previous video on how I retouched the image to this point. Once again, thank you for watching my video. Once again, do well to subscribe and see you in another video. Peace.